Greetings, Benjamin Jay from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, look what has just arrived. I was at a thrift store today and I found these in a box for six bucks for all of them. And uh, this is a uh, Marx 50 watt transformer in very good condition. I don't know if you can see this in the video. And the thing looks almost new. Clean this up. There is no damage to it at all. It's missing both the thumb screws. But uh, it's plugged in and humming. So I'm going to test all these real quick just to see if they work. If one of them works, it was worth the six bucks, no doubt. So 50 watt marks. This is an old 45 watt marks. And then uh, a 25 watt and a 25 watt. So like I said, if one of them works, it's worth the six bucks. So I've got the magnetic lock on on the rail. Let's put it on the second rail. That'll be the 994. Okay, lock on is on. Now this is missing both the, th the thumb screws, but you can get these at Ace. They're about 50 cents each, something like that. So I will just touch this to the terminals and see if it works. And it does. As you see. So I'll just run this around and we'll test the second one. All right. So the 50 watt transformer is working just fine. Let's test this one. Now I don't know if this one's going to work or not. Usually with transformers, if you plug them in and they buzz, they'll usually work unless they've been internally shorted and someone burned out the secondary. All right, it's turned off. This one has the thumb screws on it. Or thumb nuts, I guess they are. It's always great when you pick this stuff up cheap. Regardless of what it looks like, as long as it works, that's the important part. All right. And it works. All right, let me run this around. Wow. That's 50% power. That's running quite well. All right. So that one works. And plug it, get it out of the way. All right. Let's test this one. I never cared for this transformer because the cord is directly under the terminals. It makes it really difficult to try to do anything with these. All right. Plug this one in. It's buzzing. I'll just touch this one on here. Let's see. It works. If I can get this thing on here. That's the problem with this transformer. Like I said, it is so difficult to use unless you're using thin, solid wire. It's just almost impossible to get your hands on these things. Well, there's a problem with it someplace. It might just be dirty. Don't know what's wrong with it. It could be the terminals are dirty as well. It starts and then it stops. Yeah, there's something wrong with it. All right, so put this one aside. Let's try this one. Now this one is much older and really, really dirty. So I don't know where these came from, but they were just in a box at a store called Restore. And it's just a bunch of uh, stuff, junk. A lot of building materials, but usually rows and rows and rows of just stuff. Usually stuff out of people's garages with a propensity towards 
uh, slide projectors. There's probably been 50 of them there in the last few months. All right, this one is turned off. Almost the same problem. But it is working. These are just really dirty. You see, as soon as you move the uh, selector, So they're covered with oxide on the inside. So you can fix these, and all you have to do is unplug them and then sit here and cycle them a hundred times, and that scratches all of the uh, oxide off the uh, resistor wire. Okay, so three out of four are working. Hard to beat that for six bucks. So... Six bucks for three transformers. So what I will do is, the ones that aren't working correctly, I will clean them up. See if I can clean them up. Turn the power off. Like I said, if they're dirty and they're erratic, you can usually just sit there, just like a dirty volume control. Just cycle them back and forth and see if that will scrape the oxide off the resistor windings that are in there. And you can actually feel it. Uh, it feels really gritty when you first start to turn it. And after you've done this a hundred times, uh, it smooths right out and usually you can get uh, most of that oxide off there. It just depends on how badly it's been stored and for how long. Alright, let's see if that made a difference. Yep. It sure did. It's working fine now. So like I said, when you get an uh, old transformer that's really erratic, usually you can turn it and it feels really gritty and almost like it's being dragged across sandpaper on the inside. And like I said, you just cycle them, just like a dirty volume control. And it will scrape most of that oxide off of there. And uh, once you get the oxide off, it works just fine, because there's no practical way to open these. These bases have been spot welded in place and the case is uh, sealed with uh, folded tabs so it's really difficult to try to get into this thing they didn't want you to get into it once they built it they sealed it and that's it but this one's working fine now so I'll turn this back on test it one more time yep working just fine so the other one will likely work just as well once I clean it off anyway I just want to do a quick video on these six bucks for four transformers and uh, so far all of them work with that one and I'm betting that once I uh, scrape those uh, contactors just by cycling it it's gonna work just fine so six bucks really really can't beat that it, they uh, they work what I'm gonna do with them I have no idea but like I said one of them is worth six bucks it was just uh, too good to pass up so I just want to do a quick video as always if you have any questions feel free to drop me an email benstrains at gmail.com and as always, thank you for watching.